Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another easy quest guide. Today we'll be doing family quest for the very awesome steel gauntlets. You could upgrade the steel gauntlets to cooking gauntlets where you will be able to reduce the amount of fish you burn. Goldsmith gauntlets which increase the amount of smithing experience gained from smelting gold from 22.5 to 56.2. Or chaos gauntlets which increase the damage by the bolt spells. Here's a table of contents so if you need help with a specific part just go ahead and click on that specific section. Now. For the requirements, you need to have 40 mining, 40 smithing, 59 magic, and 40 crafting. You can boost the magic too. The items you'll need are cooked shrimp, salmon, tuna, bass, swordfish, as long as well a, as a uh, pickaxe, two cut rubies, a ring mold, a necklace mold, one anti-poison, and the runes to cast the blast spells. So 13 air, 3 water, 4 earth, 5 fire, and 4 death runes. I got all of this stuff at the Grand Exchange, so shouldn't be too hard to get. Now the other stuff I recommend getting are an extra anti-poison for yourself because you will be running past poison spiders. Uh, you will also need some Varrock, Camelot, Valador, and Ardown teleports. Uh, I have all of those in my house, so I'll be using a teleport tablet to my house to use those. Then a Ring of Dueling, a Glory, and multiple runes for the Blast Spells. Here's my inventory setup. Uh, the first three rows are the items that you need for the quest. And then I brought some extra food just in case. And then I have my runes for the blast spells. And I will be using magic to kill the demon. So yeah, I feel like that's better for me since it's my highest spell or stat. And then uh, two stamina potions to make you know the quest go by faster. And then my teleport tablets. Here's my gear setup. I will be using mage like I said. And I feel like it's the most uh, powerful against the demon. You'll be able to stand away from the demon and not take damage yourself then the next setup I recommend would be a range setup it's the same as magic you'll be able to stand away from the demon and not take any damage from him and last but not least the melee setup and I mean if you're a high level you can go ahead and use this me as a low level it, it's, and for any other low, lower levels it's not really recommended just because you know it's just better to just far cast the demon and stand away from his attacks. Alright, to get started, go ahead and go to Varrock. You'll be going to the southeast Varrock in the little gated area. You'll be talking to Dementius. Demi go ahead, uh. Your nobleman, uh, he's, or would, uh, he's, Go ahead and talk to him. Okay, I will help you. Go ahead and talk to him again just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Alright, first you're gonna head to Catherby. So go ahead and teleport to Camelot. And then just run south. And his house is just a little northeast of the bank in Catherby. Go inside and go ahead and talk to him. Uh, are you Caleb? So can I have your bit? And then he'll ask you for the fish. I'll talk to him again. Go ahead and give him all the fish. He'll give you his crest piece. Go ahead and ask him what, what happened to the rest of it or else you won't be able to continue the quest or talk to the next person. Alright, once you finish talking to him, go ahead and make your way to Alcarid so you can use your dual, your dual ring or a glory to teleport there. You'll be talking to the gem trader who's a little north of the just the general Alcarid area. Ask him, I'm in search of a man named Avon. He'll tell you he's to the north, so just run directly north to the Alcarin mine. And 
And then just look around for him here. Oh, oh he's right there. Alright, go ahead and talk to him, and I'm looking for a name man, Avon. Found him. And apparently he wants some of the finest gold or something. So he'll tell you to talk to Boot, who's in Dwarven Mines. So from here, go ahead and make your way to Falador. Now just follow this route in order to make your way to Dwarven Mines. He's just a the building right next to the party room. Alright, once you make your way to the building, head down the stairs and run north. If you have the agility level required, you can take this shortcut, which will reduce the amount of running. But if you don't have the agility level, you just run north and then back down south, it just goes around a corner. Once you make your way over here, run directly west, past this anvil. And you should find Boot right in this area. Couldn't find him the first time. There was only two dwarves, and now there he randomly appeared there. You just talk to him and say you're in search of high-quality gold, and he'll tell you it, it's in somewhere in Ardo. So now make your way to Ardo, and from East Ardo, just run east and then south, and you should see a tunnel interest right next to Witch Haven. Alright, once you're down here, be careful, there's a bunch of hobgoblins and fucking random things. Now I suggest just going in, you know, while you're doing this quest to just listen to me and just follow along. First thing you want to do is run to the northern room and pull the lever on the wall. Push that lever up. Now head to the southern room. Go inside. And then pull that lever up. Now go back out through the other door. And go back to that northern wall. And pull that lever down. Once you pull that lever, go inside the room. And then pull that lever up. And now, go outside and pull that lever outside the door pull that pull it up and then run back down south go into the room and then pull that lever inside it one more time now the gate in the middle should be open and inside there are two hellhounds so I suggest praying melee once you're in here, you want to mine two gold ores. So just kind of, the hellhounds will be aggressive, so you, you got to kind of maneuver around them, get them stuck behind a rock in order for you to be able to mine it. I remember these used to be a pain in the ass, but wasn't too bad this time. Once you have the two gold ores, you can go ahead and teleport out. Use your Ring of Dueling to go to Alcarid or a Glory. Mm. 
and you want to make your way to the furnace in Alcarin. Now use both of your ores on the furnace to make them into bars. And then use the bar on the furnace to create the ring and the necklace. Alright, now that you got both of those made, run back north to Avon. Alright, once you get here, talk to him. You'll give him both of the, the ring and the necklace and he'll give you his piece and then he'll tell you about his other brother who's in the bar northeast of Varrock. So now you can either teleport to Varrock and then run east, then north, or if you have a lumber yard teleport scroll, I'm pretty sure you can buy the energy, they're not really that expensive. You can use that and it'll be a lot faster. See, with a lumberyard scroll, it takes me right beside the bar. Once you go inside, you want to go up the stairs. And then go north to the room and you can talk to the last brother in there. And he won't be able to talk to you because he's a little sick, so go ahead and use your anti-poison on him. Wow, I'm okay. Alright, and then I ask, where can I find Chronozone? And I'll be on my way. Alright, now for the demon fight. So go ahead and teleport to Edgeville. And then you can take this opportunity while you're in Edgeville to uh, run into the bank, get any food, any potions that you need. And then walk down the trap door into the dungeon. Now this is the path to get to Chronozone, it's not really hard. But do note that you will be going into the wilderness, so you need to be weary of other PKers that you know are after people doing a quest or making air orbs let's run east and then go a little north right in past this gate go ahead and set my fire blast ready now once you go through that gate run west and then north there will be another gate here don't click past the gate or else your character will try and run around so try and click before the gate Once you get past it, go ahead and put on melee prayer so you can run past these black demons. And then you'll be at Chronozone. So what you do is run over here right where this rock is and you'll be able to hide and he won't be able to attack you. So go ahead and use all the blast spells on him. There's fire, air, water, and earth. There we go. So once you successfully cast all the blast spells, you can go ahead and just kill them whatever way you want. Alright, once he's dead, he'll drop his last crust part. Make your way back to Varrock. and then run southeast to Dementius.
while you're running there you can also use the crest pieces on each other to join them then talk to him boom quest complete alright guys thank you for watching I hope this quest guide helped you and if it did please tap that like button it means a lot to me thank you